All right, family, get a news reporter, Mary Dad's Tony Mary Lee. Today is February the 25th, Thirsty Thursday in my city, Chicago. The year is supposed to be 2021. Like they say, they will put it dead in your face and don't forget it, okay? Now, this is the British flag right here. It don't look like a flag, but it is. You understand what I'm saying? You see the flowers? Uh-huh. Yeah, you see? See the British? It's got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do they say? The British is coming. The British is coming. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So, they invaded America, my city, my, I mean my country. You understand what I'm saying? And then they want to make it. I'm at the Cultural Center in my uh, city, Chicago, and that I name that I respell. S H E C A R G O. Now, because I do what I do, and the police know I do it well, look. See, police, they nosy, man. That's all. They want to track niggas forever. You understand what I'm saying? For some reason, they don't want us to have our independence. They were jealous of our independence. Real talk. And everybody they put in my way, as far as my ex girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody else is because they knew I was independent. I'm still independent. You see the O? Is it for Oprah or Obama? Because when they signed the Declaration of Independence, wasn't no ladies' signature on that motherfucker. It was 56 men that signed the Declaration of Independence. And I don't work this hard for no goddamn man. I don't care how much of a man I look. It's only because I was taken advantage of as a baby, a little girl, and I'm still being, you know, taken advantage of. See the Eminem? Chicago Eminem? Yeah, see it? Look at it. That stands for Mary Mack, but they gave it to so-called Marshall Mathers. My motherfucking rap legacy and shit. But you gotta remember, Tupac came before him. So ain't no motherfucking way he could be the original. You understand what I'm saying? That's just common sense. But I came from behind to get both of them faggots and shit. Real fucking tough. Whether they fags or not. You understand what I'm saying? Because you got a lot of gay acting motherfuckers also. You understand what I'm saying? They act like they gay, but they just pretend it. But if you tell a lie long enough, it will become the truth. You know why? Because somebody gonna pull your whole card, and next thing you know, you understand what I'm saying? Your ass gonna be busted and shit. Disgusted and can't be trusted. Simple as that. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I could have did a whole lot of things to Lawanda Joy Jacobs sexually. You understand what I'm saying? But I didn't want to. Because, you know, I don't get down like that. Real fucking so. You know what I'm saying? But that faggot ass Dwayne Lewis. I fucked his ass one time because he wanted to have sex with me or whatever and stuff. When I was at my, what was it, my second apartment a long time ago when I was a little girl. I'm 53, almost 54. Depending on what year it is, real fucking talk. 2020 or 2021 because, you know, they like to call that leap year or whatever stuff. Either way, I'm not trying to figure out everything. I'm just giving you my truth as I know it and stuff. And I'll figure out the rest as it come along or whatever. But yeah. Dwayne Lewis wanted to screw me over so bad and just, you know, figure me out or whatever and stuff because he was an informant. And I know he was because this one guy by the name of R.C., you know, was trying to save me back in the day from him. But, you know, I like a challenge, nigga, for real, because I believe I can I can get them all before it's over with. Right. And, you know, R.C. used to cry and stuff like, you know, don't mess with him. He's up. He's no good. But I gave Dwayne the benefit of the doubt. But when. You know, he wanted to have me so bad sexually, of course, with a condom and shit. You understand what I'm saying? I said, well, let me, you know, do you or whatever. I had got me a dildo or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And he told me to go slow and shit. That's the honest God's truth. I did it one time. I've been with a lot of girls and never fucked man one of them. But that fucking faggot, he was like, go slow and shit. Nigga, if you think I'm going to let you screw me, you got me fucked up and shit. That's your story. That ain't my story. So that's how far motherfuckers would go. They would sell their ass to get my spot. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking toe. Now, we could have been friends, and we were friends for a long time, but he kept putting my business in the street, and a lot of it wasn't even true. You understand what I'm saying? And you would think somebody that I did something like that to, or that he allowed me to do, 
you understand what I'm saying? He would not say nothing wrong and stuff, right? So I couldn't believe it, but yet and still, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Now, you know, I don't know if he was on drugs or whatever the case may be, but I know every person that I had, as far as a girl, he ended up with her and stuff. So, but I never fucked his baby mama. You understand what I'm saying? I know I could have. You understand what I'm saying? I am the originator of rap, nigga. It's like, you gotta be out of your fucking mind. You understand what I'm saying? To think I can't get what I want when I wanna get it. I choose not to today because I got, I got this mission I'm on. Real fucking trouble. And ain't nobody gonna tell my story better than me. Hey, hold that bus. Especially when I'm priceless. You understand what I'm saying? Real tough. So you got this white person back here. He gonna be famous today. He gonna be famous today. Say hello. Uh huh. Now, Rosa Parks. Oh, that's it. Rosa Parks, back in the day, wanted to sit at the front of the bus. They made her get off the bus to let a white man sit down because, you know, she, they was like, you know, blacks gotta go to the back of the bus. But because they know, because they know I like going to the back of the bus, where is he at? The back of the bus. So why are we fighting? That's the question. For people who do not respect us, whether we in the front or the back. That's the question. This is the reason why I'm your ghetto news reporter, Mary Lee and Dash Twin, and Mary Lee and the originator of rap. It's always gonna be somebody to prove my point and stuff. Now I'm not gonna go back and forth with these people. I'm doing something right now. <laughs> look, look. See, they wanna, they wanna finesse my story, and I'm not gonna let them do that and stuff. You know, he ain't get, he, he, he already did what I wanted him to do and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? See, they are what you call agitators and infiltrators and things of that nature. That's what they are and stuff. And of course, the police is always right on time for white motherfuckers. But if you call them and shit, like I called them in 1995, and I told them I had a gun to my head, they told me I had two minutes to live. Why? Because America is mine and Great Britain is theirs, which means they need to get the fuck out of my goddamn country because we're not going to goddamn it bow down to their ass regardless. I'm the queen, I'm the king, I'm the empress, I'm the emperor, I'm all that. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm a child of the most high. Now, the Bible scripture today is Matthew chapter 23 for all the motherfuckers who don't believe and stuff. You're not supposed to have any fear. You understand what I'm saying? You tell Satan to get thee behind you. Real fucking talk. Ain't no more free fucks. None of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? We ain't got time for that. All they trying to do is find a way to get me off the scene so, you know, they can finesse the rest of these silly motherfuckers that will suck a dick and die for these crackers and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Literally, I'm telling you, for real. Now, when I was young, dumb, and full of cum, I didn't understand how this shit worked. But I knew they would not let me downtown for some reason or another. Back in the day, we had, Chicago had a lot going on. Real fucking tough. You could come down here and uh, go to a video game room and things of that nature. Go, you know, you know, a lot of good stuff. You know, go to the movie, hang out, whatever and stuff. On 95th and Stony Island, there used to be an amusement park called Fun Town on Cottage Grove, 79th. It used to be a, a theater and stuff, because I'm a native of this land, so I know and stuff, real fucking talk. And all they do is kill off your parents and then they kidnap you and shit and they, you know, watch you and study you. And that's why T.I. say, even my swag need a bodyguard and stuff, real fucking talk. And then they think I want to settle for pennies on the dollars and motherfucking goddamn knuckleheads all in my goddamn face and shit. Now, he gonna be famous just for being in the back. All that other shit he trying to say, I'm not trying to hear that shit. Miss me with that bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? I am a professional and he's not paying for this device that I got. You understand what I'm saying? Which means he's not gonna waste my time. 
and I don't let people waste my time when I'm on my job. So when I allow my ex-girlfriend, LaWanda Joy Jacobs, to hang around me for this cracker, you understand what I'm saying, real fucking talk, you know, I told her towards the end, you know, go back to that white man, because if she had not moved in after 10 years of knowing that I'm a decent person and I'm the originator of rap, which means when we went to that picnic in Evanston, it was on the 4th of July, and that was supposed to be, what, Independence Day. So they was trying to free her from me, I guess, and, you know, pay her for whatever reason or the other and stuff. So when they poisoned me in Atlanta, Georgia, the white people, when they railroaded me May 31st, 2008, and I got out of prison and I went to Atlanta, Georgia just to see what's going on and stuff because I remember my ex-girlfriend, Luana Joy Jacobs, going to Atlanta, Georgia and stuff and bringing me back a, a sweatshirt from Atlanta. And, you know, they poisoned me because I went there just to clear my head or whatever and stuff, right? And I stayed at a shelter or whatever. And, you know, when it's time for me to eat, they poisoned me. Nobody else got poisoned, just me. You understand what I'm saying? I felt like I was about to die, and it was around Christmas that time. And I called my ex-girlfriend, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, the uh, insurance agency for Blue Cross Blue Shields, and the so-called Jehovah Witness and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And I told her, I said, they poisoned me. I almost died, and she laughed at me. I couldn't understand that. I said, damn. Ooh, she laughed. I would have never did that. First of all, she would have never stayed in fucking goddamn jail long enough, you understand what I'm saying, to even be railroaded and stuff. I was supposed to got bonded out and shit. She had money for for everything when it came to me. But when it came to fucking bonding me out, nah, she didn't have the money and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because why she felt this though, she didn't need my services anymore. She felt she had won and shit. You understand what I'm saying? But I keep telling them, ain't no competition when it come to doing me. You can't tell my story better than me. And I ain't never been a damn dummy and shit. Nobody hangs around you for six months you understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk on some persistent type shit just to get into your life. Not only that, I've been an AA member since 1996. I took it seriously in 1997. And the one Joy Jacobs with, with me every step of the way for the most part and stuff. And she never told her story. She never gave a lead. She never made a comment, which means she just sucked up information. And not once did I ask her, how much did she make at Blue Cross Blue Shields? None of that because I knew she was an informant, an uh, infiltrator, and working for the white man. I just knew it in my spirit because I don't, I don't hang with people and stuff for real, for real. You understand what I'm saying? Unless you a best friend or a girlfriend, something like that. I don't hang with crowds for the most part. I go to a party. Oh, I did back in the day, and I be the motherfucker, goddamn it, just dancing by myself and shit, trying to clear my head from all of the garbage that people be trying to you know, put in my head and make me live rent free or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So because I won, you understand what I'm saying? They mad and stuff and they want me to be out here bad and shit, drinking drugs and smoking and fornicating. These motherfuckers want, want some sex for a little bit of nothing and shit. And I don't do fucking goddamn none of that bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? I would die first before I do any of that. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. This day and age, I am too good at what I do to fucking goddamn it go for stupid. You understand? And Marshall Bruce Matters the third is running out of time. Real fucking talk with his white ass and shit. Trying to steal my legacy. Nigga, you beat me. It's like cutting a fill of grass with wire cutters. You might as well kill yourself. For real. Because my higher power, by the time my higher power and I get down with y'all motherfucking asses and shit, you're going to wish you had never, ever crossed me. And that's the honest to God's truth. I don't care how many police in this goddamn so-called state. They're not the police, they ain't nothing but crackheads, dope fiends, whoremongers, killers, and rapists and shit. Real fucking talk. They took advantage of me as a little girl, I survived, and they've been trying to kill me ever since. I've been poisoned six times, raped by five guys, been beat up because of the police and shit, getting game bangers to attack me. I've been having motherfuckers come at me every kind of way, even this cracker in the back and shit, knowing he's supposed to be in the front of Rosa Parks. You understand what I'm saying? So that lets you know goddamn well they don't give a fuck one way or the other. And you ain't figured out this history lesson by now. You dumbass motherfuckers and shit that's listening to this is because you dumb and full of fucking nut and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Or drinking and drugging too damn much to care even for yourself. And with that, this your ghetto news reporter, Mary Dash between the Mary Lee. Go fuck yourself. That's what these glasses say. Best investment I made. Peace!